What's up, boys and girls? I'm here to talk more trash about the news and the U.S. government until the CIA shadow bans me even further. So I'm sure most of you have heard that there was uh, some type of Chinese blimp uh, powered by the hot air from Joe Biden's ice cream-induced farts. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's kind of silly. You know, there's like a Chinatown in every U.S. city. Why would they need to send a blimp floating over it? And if you read the details of that story, it gets even more ridiculous. But on the topic of Chinatown, if I wasn't sitting here waiting for some blue-skinned, triple-breasted alien girl to tie me to her spaceship bed all night, I would actually be in Chinatown trying to get some FOB fresh off the boat Chinese farm girl with just like huge fucking milkers, bro. Just the biggest titties you've ever seen in your life from the proper hormonal ratios that she had from being raised on a Chinese farm in Western China, bro. That's, that's my focus. That's where my brain is at right now. But since this is a news video, I guess we should read the news article, right? The Chinese balloon was shot down by the U.S. military. Here's how it went down. Oh yeah, we definitely need the news article to tell us how it went down because for some reason, there's never any actual videos of these events from a third party. Like, everyone has a cell phone, yet no one captured it on video. Oh, that's such a weird coincidence, isn't it? It's almost like it never actually happened. That'd be crazy, though. That's crazy. A U.S. fighter jet shot down a suspected Chinese spy blimp above the Atlantic Ocean off the South Carolina coast Saturday, ending a three-day spectacle that dominated headlines and created an international incident. The operation took place at the direction of President Joe Biden in U.S. airspace as the balloon drifted over the water. Senior defense officials said the balloon was successfully downed by a single missile at 2.39 p.m. I told them to shoot it down, Biden told reporters during a travel stop in Hagerstown, Maryland on the way to Camp David. Bro, it's a hot air balloon. Bro, what, what are they spying? <laughs> what could they possibly be spying on with a hot air balloon? Isn't there like an inside idea that China owns TikTok? They have like all our personal data. Why do they need to fly over a hot air balloon? What's even more ridiculous is this. The U.S. military tracked the balloon's flight path above the Aleutian Islands and Alaska last Saturday, then through Canada on Monday, and ultimately into the United States over Idaho on Tuesday, officials said. Biden asked the Pentagon to come up with options regarding the balloon and the military considered shooting it down Wednesday as it traveled over Montana. I'm not an aviation expert. I don't know how much fuel a hot air balloon can hold, but going from China through Alaska to Can through Canada, like, I'm pretty sure that's a very large amount of fuel. And a hot air balloon is not known for its horizontal travel capabilities. Yeah, bro, let's hop on a hot air balloon and go to China and pick up those huge titty Chinese girls. That seems like the best method of transportation. This is so comically ridiculous, it would only appeal to those people that think that these countries aren't united. You know, that the leaders of these countries aren't secretly working together to take advantage of us. It's fucking ridiculous. I don't know, the, the idea of this article is that, oh, the Chinese are spying on us. The Chinese are spying on us. Really, is that why every country unanimously shut down during you know what? Where like all the global leaders are cooperating together, but they still want you to think that, oh, all the countries are against each other. Your neighbor is against you. Be angry towards the Chinese guy that's delivering your egg rolls on Friday night. Like it's just this divide and conquer BS, bro. What's next? This one's pretty sad. Weekend avalanches kill 10 in Austria and Switzerland. Some 30 avalanches were reported on Saturday alone in Western Austria. 10 people have been killed in several avalanches across the Austrian and Swiss Alps over the weekend. So this sounds kind of fishy. They placed a level four avalanche alert, the second highest, following intense snowfall and wind in the area. So. I mean, I mean, these people passing away, I mean, I'm guessing there wasn't enough urgency or severity of the situation, you know? You're like, you're like they weren't telling these people, okay, you, you, it's very likely you can die out here if you go skiing. 
doesn't make much sense to me, you know. Ten people dying, skiing, avalanches, all this geoengineering weather crap. They just, someone's not doing their job, to say the least. Someone's not doing their job, you know. This is not like a, a critical thing. It's not necessary. You shouldn't allow these people to go out and ski and risk their life when they don't have as much of an understanding and education of the situation as these officials that are setting the guidelines. Pope and Protestant leaders denounce anti-gay laws. Pope Francis and the leaders of Protestant churches in England and Scotland have denounced the criminalization of homosexuality. <laughs> what the hell does this say? Um, this is not right. Persons with homosexual tendencies are children of God, said the Pope. I mean, how do these religious people have jobs anymore? You know, hasn't there been enough situations of these priests and everything playing with children that it's the first thing people think of when it comes to church, you know? Whenever someone brings up a priest or the pope or church, generally speaking, I feel like what people immediately think of is all of the children that they're known for abusing, you know, all the priests being found with little boys in that horrible story a few weeks ago about that, that kid that killed the priest that abused him and his father. But, um, I mean, it's ironic. It's ironic. Like, you're denouncing anti-gay laws. How about, like, anti-pedo laws, you know? But, hey, hey, listen, I'm an open-minded guy. Maybe if I decide to become a priest and get older, I'll suddenly feel like doing that, too. Who knows? That's a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> That's a joke. These people are disgusting. Well, I guess that's all I have to say for today, ladies and gentlemen. Kind of crazy, but that's the world news. All right, so thank you guys for joining me today. As always, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. And be sure to go to frank-stefano.com. If you guys would like to support me further and maybe give Frank some free time to go to Chinatown and meet some Western Province Chinese farm girls. Well, that's not, probably never going to happen, so whatever. Just fucking over it. <laughs>